Hello there! Um, welcome to the third art prompt for the Compassion Project Presents Art for Resilience. My name is Kate. And Colette. And this is Colette. And Catra. we, also known as Catra. <laughs> um, we are really excited to share this art prompt with you. This is called Feeling Your Feelings, Dance Yourself Clean. Um, sometimes in your family or with your roommates, it's kind of hard to talk about your feelings, right? And how mm -hmm. you're feeling and exactly put words to what's going on with you. So this is a really nice way to share with your friends and family members. You're gonna let Alistair in, okay. How you're feeling um, without necessarily having to use words. Come on over. Um, it's like, it feels like getting your feelings squished up mm -hmm. and not letting them out. That feels way better. Yeah, if you if you don't let your feelings out, it feels like you're getting your feelings squished up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really, really good way to explain that, Tootsie Pop. Um, so this is a good way to let those feelings out and share it with people that love you, right? Your family members uh -huh. or your friends? Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you have to be the best dancer in the world to do this? No. Do you have to be the best tap dancer? No. Best ballerina? No. Can anybody dance? Yeah. Yeah, anybody can dance. This is about using your body to show how you feel. Um, so try not to judge what you're doing. And if you're being an audience member, try to just be really supportive and be um, uh, able to hold space for the person that's dancing. Yeah, like a leaf. A leaf is calm. You can be calm and, and share your feelings with somebody. Music is another way to do it. So we are going to dance, pick a song, and mm -hmm. dance to our music of how we're feeling. Like this leaf. A leaf is calm, so we're good. So, um, be calm and share your feelings. Are you feeling calm today? Uh-huh. That's nice. All right, so Colette and I are gonna be brave. We're gonna give this a go. We're gonna do some dancing. We'll show you how that is. And I hope that you will be brave and try this too. I wanna do it. You wanna do it? Oh. I, I wanna what? You wanna what? Hello! All right, I'm about to do my first dance. Um, Colette and I are gonna rock it old school. I'm gonna play a record for my dance. I'm going first. Colette's gonna be the watcher. Make sure you don't press that button, okay? Okay. Am I just playing it wrong? Thanks, baby. Mm -hmm. song which is Joni Mitchell's Both Sides Now has always been a favorite of mine um, but I chose it um, because there's this sense in that song of a tug of war, a tug of war going on um, kind of like the way you can shift your perception of what's actually happening um, she has this line clouds and rows and flows of angels' hair, and something that blocks the sun and brings the rain and snow. And both things can be true. Clouds are all of these things. Um, it's, and it made me think about how right now during these times I can enjoy being home with my family more and, um, and spending more time with them and having, having all of this gift of time and I can also be um, annoyed and irritated with having to stay home and scared. And um, that kind of gray area um, 
is what it feels like right now. I do try to be honest with her as a general rule about how I'm feeling, you know. Um, she sees me cry and, um, and if that happens, uh, I don't want her to be scared. So I'll say, you know, I'm, I'm feeling sad right now, but everything's okay. Um, you're sa self, you're safe. Um, this is not, I'm not sad because of you. Um, and just trying to reassure her, but at the same time showing her that, that grown-ups have feelings too. And um, the whole range of emotions. Um, and it's, it's always been really important to me that she, she see grown-ups having uh, emotions and that they're not just a kid thing and to model healthy ways of um, expressing them and talking about them. So all of that said, I was surprised with how nervous I felt um, to be showing emotion in front of her and to be vulnerable in front of her. Um, and it might have been just because I was expressing it slow, solely through my body and not um, not using words to talk about it. So there wasn't this safety net of um, using language. letting go for a moment of having to be strong for her um, it was a relief and it was also a relief to know that my sadness or my vulnerability wasn't scary to her that she could hold that space for me and um, that she was capable of doing that um, I think kids are capable of much more than we give them credit for. Uh, that's not to say that she wasn't distracted while I was dancing and she didn't come and check the camera 20 times to see if it was still recording and jump out of her chair and kind of move with me. Um, <laughs> but the moments when she was present and watching, she was present. Um, I would say my, to other parents that are doing this um, or to people that you're you're doing it with your roommates um i would say just let go of expectations for what this is going to be and what it's going to look like um just let it be organic and not forced and if your kid wants to make goofy faces and just dance to some cartoon theme song then let that be okay let that be where they are um it's this is not the kind of performance that you take pictures of and call it cute it's, um, I mean, I don't know about everybody else, but Colette really hates it when she thinks that anybody is laughing at her. She wants to be taken seriously and treated uh, like a peer. So um, even if I thought that she was doing something that was funny, I didn't laugh at her and I stayed respectful while she was moving. Um, and I would say don't push it. If they don't want to do it, it's okay. It, it's not going to be an effective tool if you force it. So drop it, maybe try it again later. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and this experience. And um, please continue to watch The Compassion Project Presents Art for Resilience. We have more art and more prompts coming your way. You can subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of the videos. And uh, have a lovely day. Wait. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Tell them that Colette is going to sing and dance for her next performance. And yours. And mine. Okay. Do you want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye.